Okay, Charlotte, I'll show you how to do this. Um, got a paper linear sequence, not your one, obviously. And 8, 9, and 10 is what you're having. Uh, is it 8, 9, and 10? Sorry, it's... Seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Okay. So, um, earlier on in the question, you will have calculated TN. Okay, so I'm just going to do that quickly just so I have it. Um, So it's okay. So you obviously know how to do that, so that, that bit's fine. Now, part seven says that I have to rewrite the pattern as an equation of a line. So I take my pattern and I'm going to change this into a y, and I'm going to change this into an x and everything else stays the same. So y equals 6x minus 2 is rewriting the pattern as an equation of a line. Number 8 then is drawing the graph. So to draw the graph you have to do what you did there where you do the n equal 1, n equal 2, n equal 3 so that you have something to draw. So when n is 1, we get 6 times 1 minus 2, which is 6 minus 2, which is 4. When n is 2, we get 6 times 2 minus 2, which is 12 minus 2, which is 10, which we know anyway. And n equal to 3 is 6 times 3 minus 2 is 18 minus 2, which is 16. Okay, now I see you've done this in your attempt. You didn't have to technically because if you look here, 4, 10, 16, I can see it here. Okay, so for step eight, you don't actually have to do that bit. You just have to draw the graph, okay? So I'm going to insert my graph. Okay, right there. Um, this is either n or x, sorry, that x is there, it's either n or x, and this axis up here is either tn or y. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six values, so I need to do six across the bottom, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six and then up the side I need to get to 34. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I think I can go in twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, that's 32, and this one is 34. Now, uh, just because I saw your graph, notice that whatever my first number was on the graph, that's what I kept going up in, you don't start the graph with the number here. Or if you do, so if I start with four, then I've committed to the four times tables. If you start with six, you've committed to the six times tables. Okay? Sorry, I just need to check something. Um, okay, so once you've committed to that y-axis, then you have to keep going with it, all right? So the first term is 4, so where the first term is, that's 4. Second term is 10, 
second term is 10, third is 16, so that's there, fourth is 22, which is there, the fifth one is 28, which is there, and then the sixth one is 34, which is right at the top. Okay, and I should be able to put a line straight through all of them. Yeah. Uh, stay clearly the y-intercept of the graph. So this is for part nine. The y-intercept is the n equal to zero term. Okay, so based on this being the first term, this being the second term, this being the third term, the zero term would come before the four. So you need to go, what's this going up in sixes? So you'd need to go down by six. So that would bring you to minus two. So the y-intercept is minus two. Okay, and then question 10 is calculate the slope of the graph. So for the slope of the graph, you need to put in a line across here. We're going to make a little triangle. So we do a line across. And then we do a line straight up like that. Okay, so the blue line is the rise. And the rise starts at and we need to look this way to figure out what it starts at but it starts at four and it ends up here but again we need to oh, put the arrow in so that we know where we're looking so we're looking across there so it ends at 34 so to get the rise, you do 34 minus 4, which is 30. Uh, then to get the run, so it starts here, but we look down. So it starts at 1. It ends over here. But again, we look down, so it ends at... 6, so 6 minus 1 is 5, and then if I go back over here, to get the slope, you do rise divided by run, the rise we just got there in blue is 30, and the run is 5, and 30 divided by 5 is 6, and that's the slope. Okay, hopefully that helps.